The success of analog color television for almost five decades was mainly due to the compatibility of the system with the old black and white format already in operation. Both closed circuit TV and on-air transmissions worked perfectly. Black and white did not die away immediately and both systems shared the market without major problems. The first color televisions were basically quite similar to the already widespread black and white receivers. In the camera itself, a signal called Y was generated to start with, which was identical to the one used in the black and white system. Unlike a black and white broadcast, a full color broadcast contained an additional signal with all the information to add color to the images. This signal was not visible on black and white televisions, yet on color televisions it activated several circuits for adding color to the images. This special signal was generated at the broadcasting station and its frequency was 3.579545 MHz, 358 MHz for short. The station gear modulated that signal both in amplitude, which determined the intensity of the color being displayed, and in phase to determine the hue, red, green, blue, yellow, etc. Among the signals added to the video information was a small sample called a color burst from the transmitter's original 3.58 master oscillator. This sample was made of 8 to 10 cycles of the original 3.58 which were placed on top of the horizontal blanking poles next to the horizontal sync poles of the video signal. The color television receiving the program took that sample and used it to keep its own 3.58 oscillator exactly in sync with the transmitting station's master oscillator. This locally generated signal was used as a reference to detect the phase of the color information being received. If the hues were not being reproduced properly, a user control allowed you to slightly shift the face of the local oscillator. On the other hand, if the colors were too pale, the television had another control for adjusting the amplitude of the chrominance signal. Next, the chrominance signal was compared to the 3.58 local oscillator of the color TV and the so-called color difference signals were extracted, which were fed to the inputs of the picture tube, where they were mixed with the Y or luminance signal. The elaborate design of the picture tube is very clever and deserves a separate video coming up. I hope this video has been interesting to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Chavatarin.